Lack of clean water and sanitation facilities is a huge problem faced by billions of people and which in the plan of the global community should be tackled by the year 2030. Africa is said to be off the track on the implementation of Objective 6 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. There are estimates done by the World Bank and others that to achieve these goals, the world will need to invest about six times what is investing currently. Statistical data shared at the 20th African Water Association International Congress and Exhibition taking place in Kampala shows that an estimated 320 million people in Africa do not have clean water, while 700 million inhabitants in sub-Saharan Africa are not connected to the sewage system. Africa has an estimated population of 1.2 billion people. These figures speak for themselves, and therefore business as usual is no more an option. Indeed, we need to break new grounds to accelerate access to water and sanitation for all. President Museveni's fear is about the disappearing water resource. He blames on backward practices like subsistence farming. Which means that the yields are very small. So that pushes the population to look for more land for agriculture. That's how they invade the wetlands and the forests. As a direct impact of encroachment on wetlands and other water catchment areas, the cost of treating water has been increasing annually. For instance, National Water and Sewage Corporation spends between 1 billion and 1.5 billion shillings annually in water treatment because of the pollutants which access water bodies directly. However, it is said that it is never too late to reverse this trend. You cannot talk of water of fresh water, you talk of the environment without talking about electrification of Africa. Uganda took over the presidency of the association for the next two years with the managing director National Water and Sewage Corporation, Dr. Silva Mujisha, at the helm, Jackson Onyango, NTV.